Well, here she is, boys. Oh. Oh. When did they close it down? Right after the railroad station. All right. Open her up again. You got enough keys, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Little jokes from your brother. <laughs> I speak for democracy. <laughs> Seven seconds to go, down by one point. Unbelievable. I passed the ball inbounds to Tom. I brought it across. Passed to me in the corner. Six seconds. I hit James coming across. I saw Martin. Hit him at the foul line. Martin caught the ball in midair and he went straight up. Up, up. One second. You were a legend in your time, boys. A legend. Never forget that. Coach, this is just great. Really special. The, uh, the jerseys are for your grandchildren. Yeah. What a beautiful thought. Oh, look at that. They belong to you, boys. Coach, I can't fit into this anymore. I want you to have them. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, Coach. Hey, let's get a picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Cool. Ah, you were a thing of rare beauty. Life is a game. And I'm glad to say that I played it with the best. Gentlemen, a toast to the 1957 Pennsylvania High School Basketball Champion. Here, here. You were one flesh 24 years ago, boys. Don't you forget that as long as you live. You know, I'm prouder of that than I am of being mayor of this city. Fast, you were a flash of legs, gone like lightning. Jesus, you remember that eight-foot nigger they had jumped like a kangaroo? Sure. <laughs> we said we couldn't do it. We beat a school five times our size, and we beat them in Philadelphia. Did the impossible, boys. Don't you ever forget that. Mark. Jesus, what a great eye. Priceless. You know, the man was the perfect ball player. He made it all go. Magnificent talent. Not a word in 24 years. Boys, let's say a little prayer for Martin. Wherever he is, let's pray that he's safe and happy and still a champion. Never had a losing season. Not many can say that. Charmin won't be able to say that, will he, Coach? <laughs> He'll see politics played like he's never seen it played before. We'll run that guy right off the court. All right, squeeze the Charmin. Oh! You know, he attacked me. I'm not prejudiced, but the Jew attacked me in print. Well, he is running against you, George. Hey, how about such a thing as respect for the office, huh? You know what he said in the newspaper? He said that Phil and I were corrupt. Can you believe that? Yep. Why, <laughs> you little bastard. <laughs> uh, you were a great forward, Judge. Hey, and I'm a great mayor. I have given this town four very memorable years. And you'll give them four more. Right. Never settle for less than success. Teddy said that, boys. They carved that man's face into a mountain. They don't make Teddy's anymore. A man among men, giant. Walked in and took Panama away from the Spicks. I mean, just walked in and took her, boys. I'll drink to that feet. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he look wonderful? No. Can't keep the old gunner down. You know, we ought to put him to work. Hey, that's it. You got it. Boys, say hello to my next speechwriter. Now, come on, George. I told you I'd think about it. We need something. A miracle or something. <laughs>